What's going on Nitro Gang? This is an HSP flying fish. Some people call this the turd of the Nitro world. But I want to ask you something. If you saw a turd in the punch bowl, would you drink it? Today, we're going to answer the question we all want to know. Is this turd drivable? Oh my God, there's a turd in the punch bowl. Help yourself, sir. This is a Nissan Skyline GTR replica body. This is the real deal Nitro Gang Queen Melissa. And in the background, it appears to be either Parks Police or some kind of local law enforcement. They are driving the most insane, largest SUVs possible for a guy that is basically just standing outside. Now, if you ask me, you see that Grand Marquis right there in the back? Now that is a vintage, awesome vehicle. That's what they need to get, an old Mercury Grand Marquis. Oh man, it looks like that guy was about to go off that cliff over there. Don't kill that car, bro, come on. And I guarantee you guys, they're going to try to keep the Nitro Gang down. Well, Melissa, no matter what happens, keep recording, keep protecting our First Amendment, keep protecting our constitutional rights to burn Nitro anytime we want. Before we fire it up, let's do the ultimate New York City fire hydrant review, a little overview of the chassis itself, see what we have to work with. Here you could easily just toss the body. It's quite, it's quite all right, nothing will happen. So we have a 10 scale nitro touring car chassis. Now this is the kind of chassis that always wanted to be the HPI Nitro RS43. But unfortunately it will never be an HPI, but it, it will still have a two speed baby transmission and a fairly potent VX18 motor. This one does have the optional Roto Start equipped backplate. Normally they will come bundled with a convenient pull starter. Now this model looks quite similar to the Nitro RS43. We can see exactly the same style 90 degree header, a plastic tuned pipe. We have the fuel tank mounted in the same exact position. Taking a look at the bottom of the chassis, we can see that two speed transmission. The gears look mildly chewed up but I have seen much, much worse. This is a 10th scale Nitro Touring car, and honestly, guys, you generally see a lot more scrapes than this particular model. Now, these wheels are like the world's cheapest Amazon wheels. You can get them for like 10 to $12. And, well, they will compromise our test drive here a little bit, but it should be just enough. We are running fully stock original electronics in terms of servos. They are not fantastic, but they do the job. And I just want to demonstrate what an actual turd in the punch bowl should probably drive like. Now this motor has a relatively unique rotary carb. You generally do not see nitros with rotary carbs anymore. Getting a replacement nitro engine for this might not be such a piece of cake. Well, you can get these, I think like on Amazon, eBay, or anywhere that turds and punch bowls are sold. I wanna tell you something, guys. The videos on this channel are not at all like most other channels where their main goal is to sell you things. My main goal is to have fun with a nitro. The fact that I called it a turd in the punch bowl, that is meaningless. This is still way better than any Arma, way better than any small micro crawler. And at the end of the day, with this right here, you can yell, two speed baby. YouTube these days is nothing more than an advertising platform where copycat YouTubers with millions of subscribers bully smaller channels. They try to basically brainwash their audience into thinking whatever they have is awesome. Well, here on this channel, I'm not trying to brainwash you. 
I'm just trying to share my awesome nitro experience with everybody. Let's fire this thing up. Almost a full tank. Always good to do a nice electronics check. Okay, we got the world's most average servo here. Throttle servo's okay. Brakes work and the fail safe does engage. I've already checked. Let's get the prime going. Should be good. Let's fire it up. The servo is terrible. Keep going. Two speed, baby. Well, the two speed is awesome. It's super squirrely. What is this Cadillac doing? Melissa, take a look at this Cadillac. What happened? Someone take that Cadillac's gears away. Man, it looks nice running. A nice solid line of smoke when you accelerate. Beautiful. Yeah, it's super squirrely. It is super squirrely. We're gonna do a pass on the way back here. It runs quiet though. Let's do it. Two speed, baby. Top speed. Top speed is quite adequate, but it's very squirrely. Two speed, baby. Let's come back. Two speed, baby. All right, the two speed engages a little early. We need to adjust that. But it works. It works. You know what? This VX18 motor, it pulls. It pulls to the side, that is. killed it okay we had a little crash over here no it looks okay it looks okay so that's what i get for one-handed driving but you know what it survived it's a survivor we crash into this car barrier in front of this toyota sickening are you okay there hsp flying fish flying fish are you a turd in the punch ball you're okay you can't kill a nitro Let's do this again, this time with a little onboard video. Let's listen and enjoy the sound of the ultimate two-speed baby engaging. Let's fire it up again. Great start. Warm up.
Okay, okay, you know what? It shut off. I don't have to yell anymore. What did you think about that run? The run was phenomenal. No flips even with the heavy rear camera. Now I think we need an updated servo on this because, well, it doesn't steer that good. But you know what, guys? The coppers didn't even say a word to me. I think that is because they saw a turd in the punch ball that wasn't actually a turd. Well, guys, that's the end of this video for now. I'll be back with an upgrade series on this sickening HSP flying fish. And I just want to say a special thank you to a good friend of mine, Joseph Watkins. He's the reason you guys are watching this video right now. He provided this nitro to the channel. I appreciate that. Let me say before I go, special thanks to all my viewers. Special thanks to my Patreon supporters, my channel members. It's because of people like you that I am able to make nitros great again. This one will require a little bit of work, but it's nothing that I cannot handle. You know something I cannot handle? That is an Arma diff. That's why you don't see them on this channel. A nitro, well that I could easily handle. See you guys later. The new Team Losi Pro Moto MX is out. Tasted like Losey motorcycle. Oh, I'm allergic. But I'm also hungry for some action. We got a tea bag. If you smell it, 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 what the nitro gang is cooking.